Well, we're back with you again this month, and we're going to talk about patience. I've got patience. I'm the character doctor. I operate on people's character. Patience versus restlessness. Get your bulletin out. Let's look at this one. This is a good one. If we can master this one, life will be a lot better. Accepting a difficult situation without giving a deadline to remove it. You know, when life is going along well, I, I use the stress ball as an example. It's in one piece. But what happens when somebody irritates us or a situation is not going the way we want it to be and we have to wait through it? It's sort of like the stress ball. You know what happens? Not the way we want to see it. It sort of comes apart. But if we're willing to wait, it comes back together and it works out right. See how the stress ball does? Let's turn in our bulletins over to page two. Let's look at five things we can do that will help us to be patient. Develop this quality. Number one, and probably most important, keep your cool. I'll give you an example. I was in a grocery store just recently, waiting in line. Lines all around me. This was a long line, and it was going so slow, and I was sort of getting anxious a little bit. I looked at the other line next to me, and I thought, that one's moving quicker. I'm going to move over. Well, number two is use the right process. I mean, should I have really moved over? Because when I got over, I found out it wasn't moving quicker. And I decided, am I going to go back? Well, I ended up doing that. Number three, pursue while you wait. There are things that we can do to be productive as we're waiting to go through the process, whether it be on a person or whether it be within a circumstance or situation. Number four, accept reality. You know, some things are going to change, some things aren't going to change. And we have to accept the reality that if it's not changing, am I willing to be patient? I was just struggling in that line. And then number five is try again. You know, if it's not working the way we want, don't give up. Go back and try again and put an effort forward to make things right. It's a lot about attitude. Here on page three, we're going to look at the Mabel Bassett Correction Institution. Here is, I mean, women who've had all kinds of issues in life. And those who are watching over these women, helping to develop, they have to be patient. The women who've gotten themselves into trouble, you've got to read this article. It'll really have an impact on you. And you can see the picture from this woman on the front page, how the devastation, the emotional impact, things that she'd done had had such an influence on her life. And then on the back of our bulletin right here, we talk about how to overcome irritations. Can you do that? Is that something that during the course of going in and going out of life, like the stress ball, can we be patient? I want to give you a five-question test now on patience. Five questions. Let's see how you do. Number one, when someone is talking to you, do you allow them to finish what they're saying, or do you finish their sentences for them? In other words, do you interrupt them, or do you allow them to carry on and complete what they want to say? Number two, when working with children, and sometimes whether young or teenagers, maybe older ones, are you able to keep your cool and discuss through the issues, or do you quickly get upset? Number three, how do you handle traffic congestion? I mean, when you get in there and things are, oh man, what am I going to do? How am I going to get around? I'm going to be late. Do you make gestures when somebody cuts in front of you? Or do you have wrong or destructive thoughts about them? Number four, when people are uh, at work and they're going slow, I mean, they're just not doing their job the way they're supposed to, and they're messing up. Do you get irritated or even criticize them? Are you able to wait and look for change? Number five, when making a phone call, and this is a tough one, and somebody puts you on hold, or you've got option one, option two, option three, does this cause you to be anxious? Do you feel like hanging up that phone? Or do you keep your cool? Do you follow those five, five steps? You know what? We want our life to be intact, just like the stress ball. We want to operate in whole 
and really have life to be something that's joyous. Be like the stress ball. But when things go rough and it comes apart, exercise patience. It'll come back together. I hope this has been helpful. See how you did on the test. If you got all five right, you're a patient person. See you next month. Thanks.